Introduction to Lab 7, Multiplexers and Demultiplexers. In this video, we will discuss how multiplexers and demultiplexers work, as well as the basics of clock multiplexing. Multiplexers are combinational logic circuits that have two S inputs, S selector inputs, and one output. The select input decides which of the inputs gets sent to the output. For example, the truth table of a simple 2-1 multiplexer indicates that the multiplexer's output corresponds to which of the two inputs is chosen by the selector. Clock multiplexing is a technique used for operating the same logic function at different clock rates, from different sources or inputs. The logic circuits are switched by the select signal often while the circuit is running. This process of switching isn't very safe and can result in a glitch that occurs when one signal is going down as the other is going up. To eliminate these issues, clock safe switches can be used. Demultiplexers are combinational logic circuits that have the opposite function of a multiplexer. They have one input, S selector inputs, and two S outputs. Demultiplexers place the value of a single data input on several data outputs depending on a selection signal. For example, the truth table of a 1-4 demultiplexer indicates that its output depends on the values of the selectors. Since demultiplexers convert a single input to multiple outputs, they are commonly used for communication and serial-to-parallel converters. In two-way communication, multiplexers are also used. Both multiplexers and demultiplexers come available as pre-built chips, which is a more convenient and efficient format than building them using logic gates. In this lab, you will examine the function of a basic multiplexer, observe clock multiplexing, and compare multiplexers to encoders.